Hi there, Karen Flaherty from Living by Human Design on this uh, on the eve of Christmas Eve. Hope you're doing well. Um, hope you're enjoying the holiday season and doing everything you wanted to do and getting everything you wanted to do done. Um, today we're going to be talking about the gates ten and fifty eight and um, and the, about love and joy. Perfect for the season. So, uh, so I'm going to do both gates uh, this time in this video so that um, we all get to enjoy our holidays. And um, so whether you're celebrating Christmas or you've celebrated Hanukkah or you have Kwanzaa coming up um, or any of the other holidays or many holidays in December. Um, so I hope you're enjoying whichever one you're celebrating. But the um, running theme this month for the gates is ideas and joy and love of life and um, self-love. And, and it's all for a reason. It's all about this solstice um, coming in. The solstice was yesterday. Um, the the uh, um, your, the days are now getting longer each day. Um, we've just had sunset here. And so I'm talking to you in the sunset glow um, that I see. And um, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a time of, it's a time of joy and rejuvenation and really um, um, loving ourselves, but loving others as well. Um, so we've got the Sun and Gate 10 uh, that started on December 20th. So I'm a few days late with that. And then it goes until the morning of December 25th. The Earth is in Gate 15 at the same time. So we've got the love of the self in the in the Gate 10. And then we've got the love of humanity in the Gate 15. Um, and so both of those are in the you know, in the zeitgeist, um, so to speak. Um, so we started the week with no definition, but then it moves into the 2343, as you can see here. So it uh, defines the ajna and the throat um, for a few days, and then uh, it goes away when we move to the gate 58 because it was in Venus. So then we move to the gate 58, and we've got that starting on the December 25th. That goes until December 31st. And at the same time, we'll be uh, moving out of Mercury retrograde on January 1st. And here we've also got the earth and gate 52. So we've got the 58 down here coming off the root and we've got the 52 coming off the top of the root also. And um, we start the week uh, again with no definition and it stays that way all week. And as I said, uh, Mercury goes um, direct on January 1st. So some of the um, confusion or tumult that you might've been experiencing goes away. So with the sun and gate 10 um, and the earth and gate 15, we've got gate 10 with the love of the self, it's all about loving yourself, literally. They call it treading or the behavior of the self in the original I Ching. Um, he says it's the underlying code of behavior, which ensures successful interaction despite circumstances. So it's basically loving yourself, loving others as yourself, and empowering others as well. Um, the inclination crosses this week are the vessel of love and behavior and prevention. And then in quantum human design, it's called self-love. And the gate 15 is all about the love of humanity or extremes, modesty or extremes in the original I Ching. It's a quality of behavior which expresses the proper balance between extremes. So just think there are so many different extremes in humanity, right? With, you know, it's, it's the original night and day, dark and light, hot and cold, um, you know, north and south. It's all the the polarities, right? All the poles. Um, all And they come into balance in the love of humanity because we can take those extremes and bring them to a happy balance, basically, most of the time. Sometimes we can't, and that's okay, but it's playing with those different um, polarities every day that we have, that we play with, um, that allow us to see how different we are from each other, but also how much we can be the same. Um, in the Jane Keys, dullness is the shadow, magnetism is the gift, and fluorescence is the CD. And in quantum human design, it's called compassion. And then moving to the um, next week, so starting with the 25th, we've got uh, the gate 58, which is called the joy of life. And it's the happiest gate, I think, in the in the chart. Usually these people, um, people with the gate 58 as the joy of life in their conscious sun or, or most places in their chart are walking around with a smile on their face. There's really very little that can stop their joy. Um, I've seen extreme cases where joy is stopped, but for the most part, I love to see uh, the 58 in anybody's chart. It's the joyous or vitality in the original I Ching. It's basically that 
stimulation is the key to joy, doing stuff, changing things, moving things around, changing things up. It's connected to the gate 18 in the chart. If you have both that entire channel, the gate 18 is all about correction and editing and improving. And it's always to bring people, including yourself, to the joy of life. It's always to make things better so people can enjoy it more. That's really what it's all about. And isn't that, you know, what life's about um, when we're always trying to when, when we're making things better for people, right? Um, the incarnation crosses this week are the crosses of service, vitality, and demands. And in quantum human design, it's called the joy of mastery, um, as in doing creates the joy. And the gate 52 is all about concentration. It's called keeping still mountain or stillness in the original I Ching. And it's a temporary and self-imposed inaction for the benefit of assessment. So basically you're sitting down, solving a problem, writing a book, you know, creating an article, um, creating a piece of artwork, anything like that. It's it's in action where you're focused and sitting for the benefit of figuring things out and making things better. And the Jinki stress is the shadow, restraint is the gift, and stillness is the CD. And in quantum human design, it's called perspective. So with the Jinki 10, um, I love this, uh, graphic here. It's a process of becoming yourself manifests as the flowering of your individualized, differentiated self. Um, so we get to become ourselves all the time. It's it, it brings us to our naturalness and it brings us to a state of being. So the shadow here is self-obsession. Um, it's really being self-absorbed. Um, this is probably where um, traits of narcissism can come in or traits of, you know, um, it, you know it's about self-love. So you can love yourself. I don't know if you can love yourself too much, but you can love yourself quite a bit and to the exclusion of others. Let's put it that way. And if you don't include others in your self-love where you're helping to empower others, once you love yourself, then um, it can go a little awry. Um, the gift is naturalness and the CD is being. It's just being. It's just being you, being authentic, being who you're here to be. Um, and um and so Richard says, through the lens of the 10th shadow, all you see when you look at others is people you would like to change. So really, it's it's like, I'm okay. I love myself. The rest of you, y'all need to change, right? It's that kind of an attitude. Um, he also says, the life of every individual human being is a journey through the frequencies of this 10th theme key, right? It's all about bringing us to authenticity. It's also about also all about finding ourselves finding ourselves in quotes. We know where we are. Um, we know who we are if we um, just look inside. And with the gate 58, we've got um, this uh, joy of life in the, in the, in human design generally. Um, but in, in um, the gene keys, he calls um, the shadow dissatisfaction. The gift is vitality. And the CD is bliss, literally bliss, this joy of life that leads us to bliss. And um, you know, um, one of the things he says is sometimes we'll spend a whole lifetime just refining a single virtue. So what is your virtue? What do you want to work on? What do you, what do you, uh, want, what do you want to um, embrace and, and really bring to the fore so that you're being there as much as possible? Because you know who's, who you are and what brings you joy. Um, I think we all kind of do. We just ignore it a lot of the time and um, we don't, we don't embrace it. He also says, do something unexpectedly giving um, because that's again, what the joy of life is about, right? I mean, this time of the year, I I don't really, we, we don't really do a lot of gifts, but we do a lot of giving and it feels a lot better. Um, it, it's um, the kind of thing where I don't expect anything anymore. Um, we have no kids. We're, we're, you know, not near family anymore. So giving and sharing and doing with other people and really, you know, kind of embracing the joy of the season while being with other people that you really, that, that you enjoy being with. And sometimes that you don't enjoy being with so much, but it's, it's the camaraderie, it's the sharing, it's the being, being with other people and helping them to, um, to enjoy the season as well. He says the shadow of dissatisfaction is based on the false promise that there is something you can do to bring about happiness. There's really nothing to do. It's, it's I, I find it's really about gratitude. It's, it's about embracing the joy. It's about finding um, that gratitude um, balanced with 
you know, some sadness balanced with some, um, I saw a quote the other day that said that really the, the, the happiest people or the people who can say that they're in the most authentic way of being for them or those who understand the compassion and have gratitude, but have also experienced the sadness and the grief and have worked through it, right? Because it brings us to a balance where we find that the gratitude is what allows us to appreciate the things that have happened, the events that have happened, not all of which are great, right? Everybody, everybody has their ups and downs. Um, and, you know, part of the quote was that the, the people who have had it really easy all the time are, you know, some of the most sad people, really, um, because, because they're not seeing both sides of it, right? They're, everything's got an up and down. Everything's got those polarities going on. There, there's, we, we just, when we can learn to appreciate both sides, it makes things a lot easier. We've had, we've had a lot of um, weddings, as I told you this year, a lot of celebrations, a new great niece. But we've also had a lot of, um, you know, unfortunately more um, people have died this year than um, have in the past few years. Um, even with COVID, we've lost more people this year than we did personally than than we did um, over the last few years. So, so it was a bit of a jolt, um, just as we were, you know, kind of coming out of COVID and traveling again and doing all these, you know, um, wonderful things to celebrate with our nieces and nephews and family. Um, we had, you know, a, ver a few very close friends die and it, it's hard, but, um, you know, hopefully the gratitude will balance the, the grief and um, we can, we can all move on. Right. So at the gift of, at the gift frequency, the same energy that you experienced as dissatisfaction now begins to turn into joy. So vitality, being alive, helping people, giving, doing what makes you, doing what you find to be bringing you contentment and um, serving and helping others and being with others, even if it's just a little kindness, even if it's just a little kindness once a week, once a day, whatever feels right for you. Those, all those little things add up and it helps you to feel more content. Of course, there are a number of birthdays, both in the gate 10 and then in the gate 58. And um, the, you can see that, um, you know, it, it's not a, a be all end all, right? These people don't necessarily um, live in joy all the time, um, but that is in their conscious sun. So it's just an interesting thing to watch. Um, these people are mostly in the, um, with the gate 10 are mostly in the vessel of love and, um, cross of prevention. And then, uh, we've got these people in the cross of service or cross of demands. So I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. I'll see you, um, in a week or so at, about, uh, around New Year's. I'm just talking about the next gate and I hope you are, whether you're with family or you're alone or you're with friends or, um, you're traveling. Uh, I wish you safe travels and happy season and um, joy as we move along on this journey called life. I will see you soon. Take care. Be well.